Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how to cook some baby back ribs on the Weber Jumbo Joe. This is also a collaboration with James at Amo and Claim of Smokers. We decided to do the baby back ribs on our Weber grills and also we're going to be using the same seasonings and sauce. So let's go ahead and get everything prepared for this cook. All right, here's our rack of baby back ribs and what we're going to do is first of all let's go ahead and remove the membrane now i got lucky with this one this one right here basically it already started peeling off but just in case you've never done this before you can always just take you a butter knife or something dull like this and kind of pull on the edge and if you're lucky enough you can just take a um, paper towel and pull this right off and the more you do this, the easier it gets. And that came off pretty well. So we got lucky on that one. And I like to put some olive oil on both sides. Just a little bit. On both sides. Okay. And then let's put our seasoning on here. This seasoning right here is basically just a SPG, salt, pepper, garlic. I'll leave the uh, ingredients below, uh, how, to, how to make this. Just put some light coating on the back side. I don't have to put a whole lot. I don't put a whole lot on the back side. Put a coating on this side. And the next layer we're going to be using is by Suckle Busters. It is their Hog Waller Pork and Rib uh, Seasoning. So we're going to put that on there as our second layer. Again, I don't put it real heavy on the, on the back side. The wind is kind of blowing out here today. Okay, I have some thick meat on this side, so I'm going to try to get some on the edge as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get this on the grill. What I'm using today is a charcoal basket by Adrenaline Barbecue. I've got about 30 uh, briquettes in here. And what I'm gonna add to this is about five. These are already pretty good and hot. I let them sit a little longer than what I wanted to. We're gonna get those in there. And then I wanna add, this is a piece of cherry. We'll get that in there. Grill grate on. All right, we're going to put our meat probe on. This is a Maverick thermometer. Again, I'll put all the information. Show more section. Let's go ahead and get this on. Top on. And I'm going to leave this about quarter to a half way. And we're going to leave this on here to see, kind of see where we're at in just a few minutes. We're looking at about 225. I want to try to keep it right around 225. So again, I'm going to leave this about a quarter to a half on top and a quarter and a half on the bottom. All right, we're right around 225. What I've done is I take a piece of aluminum foil, kind of as a drip pan, put it in the bottom here. Just kind of curled up around the edges, put it there. And I'm going to put some water over here on this side Keep the moisture in there. So let's get the ribs on. Get these in here. Might have to kind of squish them up a bit to get them in here. Get 
Okay, let's get this thermometer back hooked up. Let's get our top closed. And we're going to be revisiting this back in about an hour. All right, it's been an hour. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. They're looking mighty good. The color is looking great. We're going to spray them with some apple juice. Still got plenty of water here. Still got plenty of charcoal going. And we're maintaining it right around 225, 230. So we're going to cover these up and check them about another hour to two hours. All right, let's give these another check. It's been another hour. Still plenty of water. The color looks great. I checked, just got through checking these internally. And they're right around 160. So we still got a little ways to go. I'm going to spray these with some more apple juice. But again, this color is doing great. This uh, Jumbo Joe is doing a fantastic job. Still got plenty of charcoal left. So we'll close this back up. And we'll check in about another hour. All right, it's been another hour. Let's check on the ribs. Still got a lot of nice color. more apple juice this jumbo joe i'm really impressed with how it's holding this temperature it's been somewhere around 225 to 230 uh, this entire time so we're going to leave it on check it we want to get the internal temperature right now we're close to 175 so i want that internal temperature to get close to 2 203 to have them really tender. All right, it's been about another 30 minutes, and what I want to do now is put some sauce on it, on the ribs, and we're going to go another 30 minutes. You can see there's a nice pull away here. And we're going to be using Head Country Apple Habanero. Kind of baste this on there real good. And I've already tasted this, and you would think it'd be hot with the habanero, but it's really not. It's got some very good flavor. It might have a little bit of spice to it, but it's really not bad at all. Okay. Let's leave it on there for another 30 minutes. All right, we've been another 30 minutes, so four hours total. And I think it is time to take these off. They look great. We're gonna let these rest for just a few minutes. All right, our ribs are done. Let's see if we can cut into these. They look great. They smell great. Let's see what they look like. They look great. There he is. And they're still hot. A lot of juice in these. They look awesome. So let's give them a try. All right, there's another shot. These things are super juicy. Look at that. If you can see that, let's give it a try. Oh my. These are great. Oh my gosh, these are great. So much juice. The flavor. With this se the seasoning and that apple habanero by Head Country, awesome. I can see why James with 
aim on claim of smokers uses this because it is super awesome i'm gonna have to use this in a competition if i ever am in a competition so but guys i thank you so much for watching i hope this is something that you'll use again the weber jumbo joe did a great job holding this holding the the uh, heat around 225 230 for four hours i couldn't ask for anything better so up here in the, in the i card i will put a link to james's channel be sure to go check him out i'm looking forward to seeing what he does with his ribs as well and again thank you so much guys uh, if you haven't subscribed i hope you will consider that and hope that you'll give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and until then thank you so much and god bless